Alright. I just spent this morning setting up the shed for another day of painting. So that was kind of like blow drying all the dust out, setting up the plastic, kind of wetting the area so the dust doesn't kick up again, etc. etc. We've now got the paint and the correct hardener for it here with me. I've just been giving this a mix because this is quite old and it needs a bit of a beating. And I've just set up um, everything I need. So I've got the paint gun, I've got my strainer, I've got my little measuring tub and all the bits I need with Jesus. to start doing this today. So we're doing a 2K filler. I don't think we'll that from over there today. Um, it's kind of like the second coat of primer type thing. There's a specific name for it. I've forgotten what it is, but yeah, 2K filler. I'm just double checking the ratio that I'm going to put in this in for because I've forgotten. Very important to get that right. You're gonna watch me astronomically fail pouring this in. I've been really bad at this every single time. Oh, I got fucked. Epoxy thinner, literally a few droplets up to the first line. Two shots of vodka. It's a real pain that that kind of doesn't pour nicely. Stir it in. Now usually I would, I've been told to clean that up, clean up a paint can once you've done with it, but now that it's empty and we're not going to be using it again, I'm obviously not going to do that. It would be a waste of my time. Oh, 
questions from not so many. Okay, I think that's kind of done. Uh, I'm ever so carefully going to put this into the spray gun. It's a lot easier when you have someone helping you do this. Rather than it being a one man show. Oh, this is going to take a while. So now we're gonna clean everything out here down. I've got it all set up. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down with kind of like this kind of wipe, and then again with a second kind of wipe. So today I'm not gonna wear the full gear I wore in the last video just because my parents aren't gonna be in here. Um, spraying so there's a lot less fumes and stuff in the air. I will still be wearing a mask though however. I'm still looking up like cheap options to kind of like patina affect the metal I've got so if you guys have got any suggestions of like household items I could be using then that would be really great or any videos. I've watched a few but you know I never know which ones are like, you never know which ones are really genuine or not unless they're like a professional painter so it'd be good to have some advice on that. Well done, I can kit up with the helmet and give us a good go.
brought me to the end of today. Um, we've put on two coats of the Felleron, the 2K Felleron on everything I need to. And I have just cleaned up and put away the spray gun. I'll let you guys see what's going on in there. It's still a little fumey in here, but I've got these little plates done up. And the tank is done up. And the mud guard is tucked away in there. So, I'm not sure if I explained last video. The idea of these plates is that I'm giving the tank to a tattoo artist who's never done tank painting before. So he's never worked with metal or any of the paint products I've been using today. So I've given him a couple of like test kind of goes to go with uh, just to do some practicing on so he can kind of work out the best way to paint obviously before he puts his artwork on the tank. I'm going to head inside now because I am starting to get a bit of a headache from the acetone and all the paint fumes and stuff um, and we'll back, be back tomorrow and I'll be doing pretty much the same thing all over again but this time with the colour so that'll be really exciting um, and I can show you guys the idea of colour I'm having for the bike. So I will catch you tomorrow. the editing from my videos today, from yesterday's stuff, I found that all of the files were corrupted up until where I stopped with the sanding there. So yeah, all of yesterday's content, gone. Um, I'm very quickly doing this now just to kind of show you guys where I ended up getting to. Uh, I don't really have the time to, but whatever, it's fine. So. We finished it. We finished all of the painting and stuff, so that's all done. This is the colour that will be on the tank and the mudguard. This kind of off-white, warm, white, beigey kind of colour. The process was okay. I'm not gonna lie, this was my least favourite part of everything. <laughs> it sucked. It sucked. I hated the sanding and the painting and the sanding and the painting and the building of the layers and everything needing to be perfect. It just, oh, I hated it. It did my fucking head in. Um, I didn't do, you know, a fantastic job, but I'm pretty, pretty proud of how well the mud guard turned out. I know originally it did have that run. Now it's pretty good. It's got like bits of dust on it and things. Uh, I think considering I'm not a spray painter, this is the first time I've spray painted with a spray gun ever, you know, this past week or two, the conditions of the shed in here and out there, the dust, the metal grit, you know, weather, all that, I think I've done like a pretty okay job. Uh, you can definitely see dust and bits on it, but I wasn't looking for perfection anyway, as I will be sanding down bits of the colour here, down to the metal so I can make a patina kind of effect. To get you guys to come a little bit closer. So I did mess up on the tank a little bit. So I'll show you guys the mud guard. It's quite hard to see the white on white imperfections, but yeah, I ended up not doing terribly on the top at least around here. Yeah, okay, it's not great, but I'm just gonna again sand those bits off and kind of patina here and there on the on the mud guard, kind of keep the areas where it's done alright I'll keep as is, I think. 
and then it just just needs to clear coat up um, now and then I'm trying to be really careful not to chip the paint because obviously it hasn't had a clear coat yet being very dark. Here the tank has a little bit more imperfections these ones I'm not too worried about the pinholes, the scratches, there's a dent here as well which I'm absolutely fine with again will be sanded off and patina. The problem I do have is I ended up how you can see that getting quite a few runs down here tried to fix it but obviously it's ended up a lot of well a lot of imperfections alongside it which is a it's a bummer because I can't sand this this bit here I can't sand it back to metal because it's filler underneath so either I find like a rust looking paint which is just more money and more effort and maybe more skills I need to learn. This bit here I can take off, this is metal so that's fine. But yeah, it's it's, it's okay though, all in all. We're not going to talk about the inner side, the inner side doesn't, you won't see it, but it doesn't need to be spoken about. <laughs> yeah, shame that I lost all that footage, but it is what it is. So the painting is now completely finished, I think, other than the top coat. I'm going to send the tank away to get some custom artwork done on it, so that will be the next time you see the tank, it will be sent away maybe this weekend, maybe next week I hope, and it will come back whenever it comes back really. The mudguard will be kept away somewhere safe until I'm ready to patina the both of them, I kind of want to do it at the same time because I just feel like that might be easier. It might be easier just to start off with the mudguard though. So the next thing I want to do is probably go back to the sissy bar, which I'm sure a lot of you are very excited about. Excuse you. But I'm not going to be what the one actually making the sissy bar itself, or the mud struts at least. I'll probably be doing the sissy bar, but the mud struts Probably won't be me doing it, so there won't be too much content on that, because obviously it's not me. Yeah, just ordered in a bunch of parts, so hopefully they'll be coming in within the next week. I can maybe kind of talk about that. But so far, that is that is that is all I've got in terms of plans, which isn't really a plan. It's just a list of things that I need to do, and I might end up recording at some point. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry that this is just last two videos have been pretty like short, they've been like 10 minutes, not a lot of stuff going on. I realised kind of like maybe the quality of my videos was dipping a little bit, so I really tried hard to like get everything in and you know, explain what I'm doing and actually get a lot of different shots in and stuff and ended up corrupting all of the files, so <laughs> I, whatever. But yeah, have a great weekend guys, leave me a thumbs down, tell me how shit I am in the comments. <laughs> Uh, take it easy and I will hopefully see you again next week if I've actually pulled my finger out of my arse and got on with stuff. Maybe next week I can do a walk around video. I'm not so sure though. Um, yeah, we'll see. It's, it's going to be a surprise. No video, some video, bad video, good video, who knows? Who knows?